קהל קדוש, בוקר אור, שבוע טוב. יא, מסכת בבטרה דף י' ג' עמוד א', 13A1, we're by the two dots, the two dots says that you're not going to divide the traklin or, right, the moran or the shovach, so we're talking about different places, you're not going to divide it until each one has a proper usage in that, whether it's watch house, whether it's, you know, all these different things. So says the Gemara, and by kedei leze, or kedei leze, ma'u, what happens if there's no, not enough portion to divide it between them? So Rav Yudah, Amar Rav Yudah says, it dina de gudo agud, is there a dina of gudo agud? Right, which means that each one wants to come and divide or not, which means that somebody could come and say, you know what, either you give me the money and I take the property or the other way. Meaning like this, many times this happens. We have a partnership. And I tell you like this, yeah, let's say doctor, we have a partnership. And I come in and I tell you, okay, fine, you know what, how about this? Either we divide and I give you the money, right? I give you the money and you give me the portion in your stake in the company or the opposite, right? That means basically yeah, either I buy you out or you buy me out. But either way, We're, we're out. You know what I mean? We have to get out. The question is just, can we do that or not? Right? So, Nachman Amar, let Tina de Gidud. No, you can't. Why? I don't want it. We're, pro- we're partners. I want to say partners. Can you do that or not? So, Amar le Rav Nachman, says Rav Nachman, if according to you that you don't have the deed of Guru Agud, imagine right now, you have a Bechor and a Pashut. A firstborn and a regular child. A regular child is called a Pashut because he's not a Bechor. A regular child. Right? That the father comes and he left him an Ebed u'be'emat me'ah. A slave and a be'emat me'ah. How do you do it? How do you divide it between them? Right? You, what are you going to do? You're going to cut the slave in half? You're going to cut the... the how do you do it? So I'm going to say, he says, Shani Omer, I'm going to say, Ovel l'ze yom echav, ezel l'shemim. Very simple. He's going to work for him for one day. And for the Bechor, he works two days. So that's how you do it. You, that's how you divide it. So Meitvei, so we have a question... He says, one second. If you're going to have a slave that he's half free and half a slave, what does he do? He works for his master one day and he works for himself one day. He's always a bet hilel. But Shemai comes and he says, one second. You fixed the master, but you didn't fix him. Why? He can't get married to a maidservant because he's half free. He can't get married to a free woman because he's half a slave. What? He's not going to have children? He's not going to get married? Yeah, the world was created for procreating. That the entire world was created to have children. But it's because of Tikkun HaOlam. They obligate the child. And they come and they make him Ben Chorim. They're going to write a Shtar Chov on half of his value. And then Bet Hilal retracted. And they passed him like Bet Shammai. So Bet Hilal retracted. So no, you know what? You're right. You guys are correct. Why? Because we have to fix the slave as well. We can't just fix this, this, the master and not the servant. So therefore, that's the way we're going to do it. So says the Gemara, He says, no, it's very, very simple. There, he could tell his master, I'm going to buy your, 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 your portion. But you can't say that I'm, you're going to buy my portion because since he's already free, he can't sell himself. So since he can't sell himself to become a slave, If a person comes and he was already freed, if he was, if he stole and he doesn't have the money to pay, so the betting comes and they sell him or things of that. But a guy can't just come and sell himself. So that's why you can't do it. That's why it's, it does, it's not a two-way street. It's only, go, it's only that you have to buy my portion now, but I can't buy you. That's why it doesn't work. So Tashima, we're going to bring another proof. You have two brothers. One of them is rich and one of them is poor. So now the, the father leaves them a melchatsu betabad. He leaves them a bathhouse and a betabad. The Sakhar to rent it out. And they get half the money each. Asan that small, right? If they did it for themselves, so the Ashir could come and tell the Ani, right? You give them a bet, 13B. So the rich one could tell the poor person, the poor brother, he could tell, you know what? Go get slaves, right? And go to the bathhouse. Go get slaves and, and go to the olive press, right? What does that mean? Basically, the Ani cannot t- say to the Ashid, I'm going to buy your property. Right? Why? Because he doesn't have any money. He doesn't have any... So the, what do you, what's going to help? So says the Gemina, Hatam Nami, they're also good. You only have the good, you don't have the good. So Tashem, we're going to try to bring another proof then. Any case, if you're going to divide it and you're going to have the name on it, they're going to divide it. If not, they're going to come, they're going to put the money on it. So says the Gemina, it's a Nachloka Tanaim. Tanya was going to the Brayta. Tola Tashiur vani pachot. You're going to take the shiur. I'm going to take less. Shomim no. They're going to listen to him. 
אבל שהוא גם ליאל אומר, ושהוא גם ליאל קם זה מזה, זה אין שום מילון, אני לא רוצה לציין את העניין. So, hey, he done me, what is the case exactly? אילי מה כבטני, if you're going to tell me now that the reasoning is, my time out, what's the reasoning of, of Roshvag? Meaning, if you're just going to say, you take the shoe and I'm going to take less, why is Roshvag saying no? This is what I mean, we're lacking part of it. If the guy comes and he says, you know what, you take the regular amount and I'm going to take less than you. We listen. But if he says, we also listen to him. Right, which means that I'm going to buy you out or you buy me out. We also listen to him. And he says, and show me, no, we're not going to listen to him. So says the Gemara, no, that's not the explanation. Really, I meant the way that we taught it. The Marta, now you told me what's the reasoning of Rashbad, because he could tell me, if it's money, I don't have the money to give to you. And if it's a matana that you want to give to me, I don't want a matana. You know why? A person could say, I don't like matanot. I don't like, because a person that hates matanot, he will live. One of the simple explanations is because when, when you get a present, you now owe them. So therefore, people, they prefer, I don't know you anything. So I don't want a present. Don't give me a present. Why? I don't know you anything. Because the second a guy comes to you, ah, here, take this present. So now, Kilu, eh, now he's going to ask me for something. Now what am I going to tell him? No. You know, he just gave me a present. So therefore, I became obvious. So therefore, they say, if you hate presents, you're going to live. Why are you going to live? You don't have any burden. You don't have any money on top of you. I prefer to pay. Nothing for you. Here it is. Yeah? So says the Gimana. Huh? The doctor, you have to pay in order to get a good doctor. Okay, don't pay, don't pay. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, wow. You have it. So Amalera Bailer of Yosef says about Yosef, Yehuda, that which of Yehuda says is Shmuel, it's Shmuel. Even if both of them want to divide the Kitvea Kodesh, let's say they both have Megillat Esther. They want to divide it. You can't. Why? It's a disgrace. Well, you're going to cut the Megillat Esther in half, even if they both agree. We're talking about one in one uh, chelek. Right? Right? So he says, but it's two different things. So for example, let's say the Torah was in one scroll and the Nevi'im was in a... We're talking about one scroll. Let's say the Torah was in one scroll and the Nevi'im was in a... Cholki, we do do it. Now, if you're going to tell me, why do, we, why do I care that I'm going to have even two of them? Same thing. I'm going to buy your portion, you buy my portion. What's the problem? So, obviously, we're talking about the both of them wanting. So, since both of them want it, that's why they have this halakha. So, Amen 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 says, Hilchada, what is halakha? Idina de Gudu Agud. There is halakha of Gudu Agud. Amen Ravashi Le Mimar says, Ravashi Te Mimar, Hadrav Nachman, my, what is the halakha of Nachman? Amalei, he says, Lo shmiali, I didn't hear it. What does that mean? Lo svirali, I don't hold of it. So says, Lo wal, you don't hold of it. Varavim barchinana, varavdimim barchinana, shavak lehu avua, tarte amata. They left two different maidservants. Chada yada afya uvashule. One of them, he knew how to cook and to bake. And one of them knew needles, and all, like, you know, like the threads and like, you know, weaving and all those things and sewing. That was, so they came in front of Amalei, and he said, let dina, there's no dina, of good good agud. Why? Because you can't start forcing, because since each one is completely different, you can't start forcing it. So says the Gimana, Shani Atom is different. They are Dilma, Delamore, Mibayle, Tzavai, Lomore, because you always need both. Meaning sometimes you need somebody to sew from you, and sometimes you need somebody to cook for you. So it all depends. So when he says, you're going to take one, I'm going to take one, that's not good or not good. Yeah, exactly. There's specialists in certain things. They both need it. So he says, it's two different books, you do divide it. So obviously they wanted to divide it between them, and that's why they're allowed to do it. You could put together, stick together, Tanakh, together. Right? These are the words that are mean. He says, each one separately. Each one separately. Right? Right, which means because if you're going to put them together, even the Sifre Nevi'im together or Kutuvim together, it looks like one book. The Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Maase Bebaitus Ben Zunin, Shayulo Shemunah Nevi'im Medvokim Yikachad. He had eight Nevi'im together. Al Pilu Lazar and Azadiyah. The Yeshomim Zadu said, No, no, you're not. Kol Echav Echad. Each one was separate. Amar Rabbi Rabbi says, Maase Bebaitus Ben Zunin, Shayulo Shemunah Nevi'im Medvokim Yikachad. He had eight Nevi'im together. Al Pilu Lazar and Azadiyah. The Yeshomim Zadu said, No, no, you're not. Kol Echav Echad. Each one was separate. Amar Rabbi Rabbi says, Maase Bebaitus Ben Zunin, so Ben Chumash and Chumash and Torah are Vashitin. Every single time that you have a Chumash, one Chumash, another Chumash, you have four lines. Four lines. 
between every single Navi, you're going to have Shnemasar, 12 lines. Shaloshitin, you need three lines. Umisayemil Mata, you're going to finish on the bottom. Umatkil Mil Mana, you're going to start on the top. So therefore, it's Kilu that uh, you're leaving it empty. Tarab and we also learned to the right. So you have to do it at the beginning of the book, like an Amud. Okay, Usofo and at the end, Kedeliglul Kef, or everything of the Kef. Umesayem mil mata, you're going to finish on the bottom, Matkil mil mana, and you're going to start in the beginning. Meaning, with the beginning part, you're going to have to have the the rolling of an Amud, but at the end, to go around one full time. Okay? And then, if you want to cut it, so then you would cut it. And we have to understand what does that mean? You're going to come and you're going to cut it. Have a wonderful day, everyone.